We are very fortunate to have a number of instructors who bring real-world experiences to their classrooms. I'm here with Brandy Cahall, who teaches several sociology courses for Rowan College of South Jersey. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me today. You have a full-time job that people might not expect. Tell us what you do. I dispatch for a 911 center for a police department. Tell me about the education path that you took to this interesting dual career. So in undergrad, I was a sociology major with an emphasis in criminology. Uh, I've always loved working with people and I wanted to be able to apply that, uh, not only in a real world uh, scenario, but I also you know, enjoy people watching and that's what sociology is. Sociology instructor and 911 dispatcher seem like two very different jobs. How do these two positions complement each other? So as a 911 dispatcher, we get to deal with various different types of people and different types of concerns. Um, so when people call 911, it's usually for uh, an emergency, uh, I say most of the time, because it's not always. Um, but in sociology, you know, we're dealing with society and societal problems and trying to understand people better. And I think that helps me be a better dispatcher because I'm able to apply some of the things that I've learned uh, throughout my education and teaching to help people that do call 911 and do have emergencies. Tell me something about the classes you teach. Uh, well, I teach several different sociology classes. I started at Rowan University and I um, then shortly thereafter started here teaching here at the community college. Um, I teach intro to sociology, sociology of the family, I've taught social problems and I think it's important for the students to take sociology. Sometimes they come in and they don't really know what sociology is, what it's about, why they need it. Um, and I you know, explain that you know, in order to live in society and understand why things happen the way that they do, why we get married, why we stay married, um, why people commit crimes. Um, I explain all that to them, especially in my intro class, because it goes through a little bits and pieces of almost everything. And a lot of the students don't really know that before they come in and take sociology. And I think it's very eye-opening. And, and I really enjoy giving them that first-hand experience, you know, life experience that I've had, whether it be from my other career or just generally speaking. Um, but I think you know, the importance of sociology is crucial to learning how to adapt and understand the society in which we live in, especially the culture that we have. Do you have any experiences from your job as a dispatcher that you'd like to share? Um, there are several things that I've had. I've been a dispatcher for almost 18 years now. Uh, I started part-time right out of college and then I went full-time uh, soon thereafter. And throughout the years, there has been a lot of various different types of calls um, to more serious calls, um, to ridiculous calls, like you wonder why people call 911 for these types of things, kind of things. Um, it, you know, an example would be somebody not getting the correct change at McDonald's, that happens quite often um, and people for some reason that's their best way to get out their frustrations and think that it's going to solve all the problems and sometimes it doesn't but then you have really bad days uh, where you might have uh, a fatal accident um, or an officer injured in the line of duty um, so it can range from very serious to very funny to say the least. One of your students wrote a nice profile of you for our school newspaper. How did you feel when you saw it? Uh, I was really proud. Uh, I was honored that she picked me to interview for her journalism class. Um, and she came up with a lot of really good questions. Um, when she interviewed me, um, we went over a lot of those things. And 
I didn't expect it to be published. Uh, it was just an assignment for her class, and her journalism professor thought that it was uh, really good, and she was able to publish it. So I was very proud, not only of her, but that people get to see exactly, you know, everybody that is encompassing, you know, the college and who teaches here and the different backgrounds we come from. So I thought that was very, very cool. It's clear that you are very good at what you do in both of your jobs. Thank you for telling us about them. Yeah, no problem. I just enjoy being here. This is a great opportunity for people to see uh, everything that, you know, we have to offer here.